day and every night I wait and just when I think you come back again you change place CMYK color is so frustrating. I'm pulling out the non CMYK color. Oh my god.
and welcome to the part where I talk briefly about the process of painting this painting, the meaning behind it, how I experienced painting it and all of that stuff. So let's just get into it, shall we? First of all, this is the second painting I ever painted in CMYK color, which once again was a struggle. However, I think I finally found out why I struggled painting in CMYK. I think it's because the way CMYK color kind of mixes together ends up with way more vibrant colors than I'm used to and that's often confusing to me because I was looking for like muted reds and then the internet told me to mix magenta and yellow in equal portions to get red and that made a pastel pink so there was some kind of like struggle there and then I ended up just you know getting the pre-made red out again because I was just struggling so much. Yeah, when painting her, I was very much being all, it's way too pink. And now I'm glad it's way too pink because I feel like it adds a lot more spice to it. Also fun story, I texted my best friend on whether the background should be white or black. And then she took way too long to respond. So I just started painting the background black. And then she texted me the background should be white because otherwise it would be too gothic. And in response, I just texted her back a picture of my black canvas all ready to go. Never trust your friends with anything, children. Anyways, if you were wondering why I painted the pomegranate, there's kind of a long explanation for it. But basically, I've been seeing pomegranates everywhere in my life, and I don't know how or why. Literally, when my friend Sophie was here, I had a dream I was cursed to eternally cough up dry pomegranate seeds, which is incredibly on the nose, even for dreams. So, so yeah, that happened. And I've also kind of been obsessed with the whole Persephone myth, and then also reading Midnight Sun, which has that pomegranate on the cover. And then the reference image for this came about when I was prepping the pomegranates for my birthday party because I was making pomegranate mojito cocktails. And the split pomegranate looked so pretty that I took like a bunch of pictures of it and was like, this would look great as a painting. And it does look great as a painting. But yeah, this whole painting was definitely a big case of trust the process. I texted my friends multiple times. I know this is gonna turn out. I don't know, I'm scared. It's not gonna look good. However, I might go back in and fix the signature because I kinda think she's looking a little loopy. So yeah, I might go back in and fix that. But other than that, I'm not touching this painting, I swear. Maybe I'll clean up the edges of the black a little bit, but I think this is it. This is the way it's gonna be. I don't really have anything more to say about this painting. I wanted a real like baroque kind of shadow and ended up a little bit more impressionistic. I'm not really good at hyper realism in paintings, so I kind of end up with like the impression of things. Really, this is more the suggestion of all the pomegranate seeds rather than going in and painting every single one. Also just saying I completely abandoned my reference photo like two minutes into painting this, I just went, ah, eh, I'll do it myself. And it ended up working out, which is good because otherwise I would have been extremely like fucked. I kind of just did my own thing with like the foil parts and the seeds and it ended up working out. So thank God, but this was really a trust the process painting. And that's all I have to say on it. I hope you enjoyed seeing this little painting process video. I'm really happy with how this painting turned out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.